success. We have this 60 pound leader for this monster. Success, we did it. Woo! What a cool fish. So Look how cool. Big its fins are. Holy crap. So, uh, you we want went. To try and catch more? Yeah. Good day for going out on the boat. Yep. Yesterday was maintenance day. We changed the oil and filter and lower foot oil on the motor. Uh, we lubricated everything, pressure washed all the salt off everything to get ready for an amazing today, which is um, a really rainy day here in dry season. So let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Luckily for us, the rain has stopped and uh, Mona has not thrown up in the boat yet. She's ready. Uh, we are not ready though. I forgot ice and I forgot bait, uh, both of which are sitting at home in the freezer. Rock bottom. So uh, great job me, but we did bring something more important, which is a dog life jacket. I never thought I'd be the kind of person to own a dog life jacket. I'm a little disappointed that that's where I am in my life that I buy life jackets for dogs now. I've I, My dog in the States, come here. I was been taken care of by my brother and his girlfriend. Um, and your mom. I never bought that monster a life jacket. It doesn't reach anymore, mom bone. <sighs> Suck it in. Yay! Now she's tactical. I'm telling myself it makes her cool like one of those tactical dogs, jobs, dogs that they jump out of airplanes with and assault terrorists. So I, in my head, that's what I want this to be. But come on, that's not what this looks like. <laughs> We found the kind of place that we're always looking for, which is a place with zero people. And so we've been blessed here with this beautiful empty beach and we're gonna throw the anchor down and I'm gonna get a cast net out and see if I can catch some bait. Don't die. All right, you ready for your tactical infill, Miss Moanbone? Let's go tactical. Whoa! Good girl. Great job! Oh, you got one! So we have one fish. Um, it's not <laughs> what we wanted. Um, we got a little black tip shark, but at least we can take it out and look at it a little bit. Not going to use it for bait or eat it or anything, but at least take it out and look at it a little. So this little guy is a little black tip shark. Um, this is a very small one. Uh, they only get to maybe five or six feet. No more. This is uh, probably your most common shark here in Guam and a really pretty little shark. And if you've never touched a shark before, they're really neat because they, they, they don't feel like any other fish. And then of course they don't have any bones, so this guy could turn around and bite his own tail. So even a small one like this, you know, he'd, he'd, he'd bloody your finger. How do you know it's a boy? Um, underneath down here, his little clappers. Clasper. Little claspers. So Elizabeth told me that that makes this a boy. But very pretty little guy. Uh, lots of these little baby sharks here. These are pretty harmless to people. I don't know if there's ever been documented black tip shark attacks on people here or anywhere um, but very cool little reef sharks you see them all over and i'm uh, gonna let this one go though bye 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 so not the species we're after but still cool to see a shark like that and those little babies are all in the bays right now and you'll see a ton of them out here but uh anyway oh how would you wrap that up so anyway, let's keep on our mission, see maybe if we can catch something that we actually want to eat. If it's not made clear in all the other videos, Mona has a favorite and uh, it's not me. I traded in my flip flops for some booties because I cut my toe already. And while I was gone, Chris found this. This is uh, like a slipper lobster. So the lobsters here don't have claws. 
Um, this is a dead one, of course, but I got super excited when I drug it up in my cast net that I caught a lobster in a foot deep of water during the day, but no. Um, it's just a slipper lobster, so it'd be cool if we found one of these um, alive to eat, but. It looks like a molt. <laughs> yeah, or maybe it's a molt uh, for science stuff. Be careful. <laughs> We had no luck with cast netting uh, aside from the little shark and we weren't going to eat that. Good girl. Let's do our tactical x -fill. Whoa! Good girl. Welcome back campers, it's day two of our weekend adventure. Of course, we do everything in here at Candy Adventures on week weekend time increments. No luck yesterday except that cute little baby shark and a dead lobster husk. But improvements today, we brought bait. Yeah, we did. Uh, as you know, caught not bought, hashtag caught not bought. We finally got some bait and we're gonna get out here and try to troll on the way to our fishing grounds. And when we get out there a little deeper water, we're going to try to chum up some sort of pelagic species of mahi or wahoo or who knows. All right, finally on some bait here at Candy Adventures, and it looks like we got some. Looks like about five dollars with the chub mackerel from Payless. So we got our bait. Let's get to fishing. Caught not bought, right? Caught not bought. And unless you're in a pinch, and then you buy and trying to caught, buy to caught. Caught not bought, bought to caught. <laughs> the new addition on the boat, aside from Mona is a fish finder from family. I think they felt bad that uh, we suck at this and we needed some help. So they invested in Candy Adventures and gave us a fish finder for our boat. Which is gonna be even more embarrassing when we don't catch a fish, uh, even though we have all the right tools and gear now, and it's gonna get really embarrassing, um, but that's okay, cause that's how we do it here. No, no shame, hashtag no shame. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Just hashtag. Hashtag no shame. That's from hashtag from like 2011. Okay. Early, early Twitter. Hashtag. Okay. Let's get out there in the ocean. Yeah. We're going to be trying to catch on light tackle like Elizabeth did last time for a mahi. Uh, so we've just got uh, our small little setups here. Uh, some 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 small spinning uh, rods and bait casting rods and some circle hooks and squid. We're starting to see some little spying fish school around us, so we're changing our hook from uh, from this size for like a wahoo or a mahi, and we're changing it down for something a little dinkier like this. And uh, hopefully we can get a flying fish on a hook. That'd be really fun to do because I've I've been wanting to do a flying fish catching hook for a long time. Looks like we. Maybe gotten into a little flying fish action here. Still on? For his, for his size, he's biting pretty good. Come on, little guy. All right, so Elizabeth's got onto a flying fish. This is a first for us. Awesome, our first flying fish. Thank Success. Goodness, we have this 60 pound leader for this monster. Success, we did it. Woo! What a cool fish. So Look how cool. Big it spins our holy crap. Alright, so we just caught this on a our little small hook. Our little small hook. Oh. Alright, so our flying fish is flown away. Into the bottom of our boat. Oh yeah, it's all Alright, so here at rock bottom, uh, we like to do things. Uh, even when we're winning, we're still losing. So we'll get the fish dug out here in a second. Maybe. 
Alright. We got it. <laughs> okay. Catching the fish twice. So we'll go ahead and get our salt brine going for our little fish for later. Well, two hours of trolling and of course we came up empty. Except for the flying fish. Yep, so we got the flying fish, so we're gonna go cook that up now. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this part of the video up. It's one, so we'll just treat it like it's a delicacy. Yeah, grill it up kind of like a trout back home or somewhere. Just gut it, not gonna mm -hmm. fillet it out, just gut it and uh, cook it up that way, cook it up whole, so. Okay, welcome back campers. Uh, crack open a drink. We're gonna have some soju and a Canada Dry uh, because all out of beer. Got, Got the, the happy, happy juice. And uh, rocking this rock bottom shirt from our merch shop. Uh, I'm rocking it because I just spent two days fishing and caught nothing. And uh, so Elizabeth don't have to wear the rock bottom shirt. That's me wearing the rock bottom shirt. And we have our little fish here. We're gonna make some finadini and bake the flying fish and serve it up with some rice. Yeah, so let's get into that. And we're gonna make the fin and denny first. So we've done this in a couple of our videos, but if you're unfamiliar, fin and denny is a common sauce in Guam, and it's made from vinegar, soy sauce, hot peppers, which they call donate peppers here, and then some people add in onions, garlic, lime juice. It kind of just depends on what you grew up with. Dicing an onion. Most people use green onion. We don't have that because ours just either gets used or slowly dies in a windowsill trying to regenerate. Finadini is pretty close to like any vinegar based hot sauce from, you know, Mexico or from the States or pretty much anywhere. And one thing I've, I've wondered and I can't, I can't find if anybody, if anybody knows this out there. So hot, pep hot peppers are from South America. They're from the new world and uh, most countries did not have any hot peppers. Like you think about India and Thailand of, be, of having uh, hot, hot food. Well, there really wasn't hot peppers in those countries until the Colombian exchange happened and we got them from the new world. So my question is, are these bird peppers, these Donnie peppers, if these were pre-Columbian exchange, if these are pre-Spanish contact, I'd be just super curious to know about that because I'm always fascinated by where food comes from. Um, because I've looked up some things and like, uh, these peppers are really close uh, genetically to a Tabasco pepper. So like this is kind of Tabasco sauce with a little garlic and a little bit of onion. The finadeni is typically put over rice or different meats. Uh, so that's kind of what we'll be doing. We have rice cooking in the rice cooker around this corner and I put some sesame oil in there along with the rice. So here is our flying fish. Actually a pretty good sized fish. Just really interesting, interesting fish to have in the kitchen. We already scaled this thing and uh, gutted it. So now we're just gonna put it on some oil and uh, go ahead and cook it up with a little salt and pepper and just real simple. All right, so I'm gonna keep crushing this soju uh, while this thing cooks up on our rice finishes and we'll check back in in just a second with you guys. So soju is a distilled liquor from Korea and traditionally it was made with rice, similar to like a rice wine. However, there was a shortage of rice um, around like the 1970s to the 1990s, so they used other starches like potatoes. And the store-bought soju, actually if you look on the ingredients, it's made with potatoes and yeast instead of rice. Hmm. So it's supposed to be in between a uh, wine and a liquor in terms of like alcohol content. And a lot of them come flavored now, which I like. Uh, the, the ones that don't come flavored are like, like vodka or any other liquor. If you don't like liquor, it's just the pungent alcohol taste. And Chris and I don't dabble in the devil's nectar very often. No, I just like a little sweet in my treat. So I go for the apple flavor and mix it with a little Diet 7-Up <laughs> for my skinny girl drink. So we've been wanting to do this for a while, but we just got lucky enough today where, where she actually caught one. And uh, really curious is to see what this little fish tastes like that we watch jump all the time. A lot of people use these as bait fish. Most people don't eat them, so yeah. It looks edible and flaky like fish. It's good. Mm -hmm. That's just white meat fish. Yeah. Very good. This is kind of very similar to eating, uh, to me, with trout. It's got a lot of little tiny fin bones in it. Uh, a lot of little little bones, and it's a smaller fish, but very good. 
Um, really pretty fish and super interesting, and we got to catch one on a hook and eat it. Yeah, so overall, a successful two days because we were able to somehow catch one small fish out of it, and Mona did really well on the boat. Yep. So, that we'll see you guys next time. Yep, doing whatever the hell we do. Hopefully something we can find interesting again and... Yeah, that. Hugs and kisses. <laughs>